Welcome to Fix It Home Improvement, covering projects that every homeowner should know and great products for home and garden. Hi, I'm JC, and this is where we share weekly home improvement tips. I'm here with my co-host, Cindy. Hello, JC. Hi, Cindy. Today, we're going to be talking about carpet cleaners, and we'd like to thank Jennifer Driggers for liking and sharing the podcast. In 1956, Bissell came out with one of the first carpet shampoos, and in 1979, they came out with a deep cleaning carpet cleaner. And, you know, companies like Hoover and Kirby, they used to sell vacuums door-to-door in the 1940s and 1950s. I'm sure you talked about that in our vacuum episodes. But, but you know, what's weird is initially people didn't believe the demo. So they'd come and they'd knock on your door and they'd Mm -hmm. say, hey, do you have a vacuum? And most people at the time said no. Right. And they said, let us come in. I'll vacuum your carpet for free and just show you how well it works. So they'd come in, they would vacuum the carpet, and then they would empty it out. Right. And show them how they pulled out, and people didn't believe it. They thought they were how just could like you not believe it? they thought they were just conning them, like they had like a hidden bag of dirt in the back <laughs> of the, the thing. You know, interesting, huh? Hmm. Hot water extraction carpet cleaners do a great job of deep cleaning, and many of these are called steam cleaners. But it's actually using hot tap water. You have some type of cleaning solution that's sprayed onto the carpet. Generally, you have a beater brush that's rotating, and then it's sucked up by a vacuum. So where does the steam come in? So there's a lot of companies that actually use steam, but for most of the units you're going to buy at a hardware store or a home center, it's going to be hot water extraction. And in fact, most carpet manufacturers make professional hot water extraction part of the warranty. It's Mm. that good. And it's usually required once every 12 to 24 months. For how long? Generally for the life of your warranty. I looked at the warranties from Dixie Home Carpet, Dreamweaver Carpet, Mohawk, Shaw, and Karastan Carpet, and they all recommended vacuuming at least once a week or more, and then have your carpet professionally deep cleaned with hot water extraction once every 12 to 18 months. Hmm. What's interesting is Mohawk and Shaw, they require it at least every 24 months, and you need to keep your receipts in case you ever have a claim. Even with regular vacuuming, dirt and particles get trapped in carpet fibers and all the skin cells that we shed, which is about 600,000 particles an hour, get attached to the dirt and carpet because of the oils on it and they can glue themselves together. So by using hot water extraction regularly, the soap, the hot water, the agitation from the brushes and the vacuum, it frees up all this dirt and it gives you a much cleaner carpet. If you have babies or infants on your carpet, you should be using a carpet cleaner more often. If you have (laughs) pets, a carpet cleaner designed for pets are going to have special features like a hair filter or special accessories for picking up stains. Hmm. And the Good Housekeeping Research Institute recommends using a carpet cleaner every four to six weeks if you have a pet. Hmm. If you have new carpet, you should have it professionally deep cleaned on the recommended schedule and keep your receipts. Then if you buy a carpet cleaner, you can do additional cleanings if you have kids or pets or a lot of traffic on your carpets. If you've moved into a home and you don't have a warranty, but you have really nice carpets and want to keep them clean and add more life to them, you can either rent or buy a cleaner if you don't want to hire a pro. Hmm. Many hardware stores and home centers have carpet cleaners you can rent. Grocery stores, rental stores, other places have them too. Right. And it's going to run you around $30 a day. Most of the units are going to have the option of a hose and accessories for upholstery and stairs. Right. And the commercial units that you rent do a really good job of cleaning. Most have very powerful vacuums, so it's going to dry out the carpet. It's going to dry much faster. Mm -hmm. And renting a cleaner is a good option if you're in a townhouse or a condo with a lot of storage. And if you're in a home and you don't have a lot of carpet, or if you don't have a lot of traffic on your carpet, and you just want to deep clean it once a year or once every other year, they are a drag, though, because you have to go pick it up, right, true, put it in yeah. your car. Right. Yeah, and some of them are if pretty big. If you're on a condo, like, I don't know, the second floor, <laughs> and you have to carry it up the stairs, that's a drag. Right. You don't know who used it before you. Is uh, it cleaned how, how right? How good they are at cleaning, yeah. and what they cleaned. Yeah, I'm going with icky. If you're thinking about purchasing a carpet cleaner, the most common styles you're going to see at the home centers are going to be upright or portable. The portable units are usually used for upholstery, spot cleaning, and stairs. Mm-hmm. And a couple of the upright cleaners have removable portable spot cleaners, so you can do stairs and stains. You can get commercial-grade upright cleaners at the home centers, and they're going to have more powerful vacuums to suck up more dirt and debris, and it's also going to dry the carpet much faster. Mm. 
The faster the carpet dries, the sooner you can walk on it, and the less chance you have of mold and mildew. So FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, says that mold and mildew can start to grow in damp carpet in about 24 hours, depending on the conditions. Wow. And especially if you've applied too much water and you got the padding under the carpet wet, mm -hmm. and then you didn't spend enough time vacuuming out the water. When my mom first started cleaning the carpets with the machine, right? it was like days that it would be, the carpet <laughs> yeah, would still be yeah, damp for terrible. days. Yeah, you really got to spend a lot of time on the vacuuming part, which a lot of people don't mm -hmm. realize. She's much better now. <laughs> well, it's funny. We would rent the carpet cleaners at the hardware stores, mm -hmm. and people would come back, and, and they'd ask, you know, right. how long should we wait? And then we'd explain, you know, you have you do your wet stroke, mm -hmm. but then do two or three or even, you know, five or six right. dry strokes and just get that carpet dry. It's going to pull up more mm -hmm. dirt and debris, too. And you also don't want to add too much soap. Some people would just, you know, if a little's good, they figure a lot's better. Right, they go through but, the whole gallon. Right, but with soap, you want to make sure it's all removed because it can actually attract and hold dirt. Hmm. So a couple of other tips when you're using hot water extraction carpet cleaners. First thing you want to follow is the instructions in the manual and then vacuum very thoroughly before you even use the water extraction unit. Hmm. A couple carpet manufacturers suggest testing the detergent you're going to be using in an inconspicuous area first. So mix the detergent and the water according to the instructions. Dip a clean white cloth in the solution and rub it into a hidden area of your rug. Let it set 10 to 15 minutes, and then come back with a damp, clean white cloth and rub the area and see whether any colors bleed, because hmm. some of these solutions can actually pull the dyes out of the carpet. For furniture you aren't moving, put wax paper or aluminum foil under the legs, and this is going to prevent water from damaging the metal legs or pulling stain out of wood. Yeah. Use a spot cleaner on stains or visibly dirty areas first, and then have a plan. You don't want to clean yourself into a corner. <laughs> A couple of the pros suggest work in an area first with just hot water only and then go back in that area and clean normally with detergent. They found that dampening the carpet fibers first is going to allow the detergent to penetrate better and loosen up more debris. Huh. So like if you have a really dirty carpet? Yeah, yeah, just get it damp first and huh. then go after it with your solution. And only use hot water from the tap, not boiling water or microwaved water. It can damage plastic parts. Hmm. Some machines are designed to dispense the water and vacuum as you pull backward on the unit, and some are designed to work forward and backward. Hmm. So many of the units that clean on the forward and backward movement, what you would do is pull the trigger to release the cleaner and push the machine forward slowly. Then you're going to keep holding down the trigger and do the same area pulling backwards slowly, and this would be considered two wet strokes. Okay. Then you're going to release the trigger and go over the area with a vacuum to remove as much water as possible. And the more water you remove, the faster it's going to dry. And you want to take plenty of time, do multiple dry strokes in okay. the area you just cleaned. Most companies don't recommend more than four wet strokes in an area. And you don't want to move too slow or stop in an area where you're dispensing the solution because you don't want that pad to get wet under the carpet. Hmm. It's going to be very difficult to dry. Some pros recommend cleaning an area with the detergent, making one or two wet passes, then vacuum up all the water, then go back over that area with clean water to fully rinse it, hmm. and then you're going to use the vacuum multiple passes till there's no more water being pulled out of it. If you have small kids that spend a lot of time on the carpet, extra rinsing is going to prevent irritation from the detergent on their skin. Okay. Some units have a rinse-only setting, so it's going to make this very easy. If you have a unit without it and you have individual tanks, you're going to have to clean out the one tank, put warm water in it, mm -hmm. and then do a rinse cycle. Then you're going to have to refill it with a solution. If you're using carpet cleaners for stairs, you want to keep the unit on the bottom of the stairs and work up. That's going to prevent pulling the unit down on top of yourself and down the stairs. <laughs> And so I, when I'm looking for... A I laugh a lot when people can get hurt, don't I? Yeah, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> so when you're purchasing one of these units and you have stairs, I would make sure that I measure the length, measure the hose to make sure it matches your home. Mm -hmm. After you're done with your project, you want to clean the tanks and the brushes and allow it to dry between uses. And check the warranty on your unit. Many of the manufacturers only allow their cleaning solutions. Huh. For cleaning upholstery, you want to check the tags and the codes on the tags. If you see a W... They're saying only use water-based cleaners, so you can steam clean or hot water clean. Mm -hmm. If you see an S, it's solvents only, so it's sensitive to water. You can use dry cleaning fluid or water-free cleaning solutions. DC means dry clean only. 
WS means you can use water-based cleaners or solvents. Hmm. So they want you to start with water-based cleaners first, steam or hot water, and then if that doesn't get it clean, then move to solvents. Okay. If you see an X on the tag, mm -hmm. hire a pro. <laughs> Some of the top-rated cleaner solutions, Bissell and Hoover. So Bissell is B-I-S-S-E-L-L. Hoover is H-O-O-V-E-R, and both manufacturers recommend using their products for their units. Mm -hmm. Resolve, R-E-S-O-L-V-E, -E, Zep, Z-E-P, Rug Doctor, and a bunch of the pros like Nylac, it's N-Y-L-A-C, and you can use this in carpet cleaners or use it as a spot cleaner. It removes dirt and stains, and it also removes previous shampoos. It breaks it down. Huh. Environmentally friendly, it doesn't have any odor. And then for a bacteria type cleaner, Unique Carpet Shampoo uses bacteria and enzymes to clean your carpets. Mm -hmm. And then Unique also has Pet Odor and Stain Eliminator for carpets. And this uses bacteria and enzymes, and it doesn't have any harmful chemicals. Hmm. Some things to compare when you're shopping for an upright carpet cleaner, the size and the weight. Some of these units are commercial units, so they can be pretty heavy. The handle, does it fold down for storage or just for your height? How long is it? And does it have a hose for upholstery? How long is the hose if you're doing stairs? How, mm. What the type of distance do you need? And then what type of accessories for spot cleaning, stairs, corners, upholstery? Do you have storage or bags for all the accessories? How long is the power cord? And then is it a push and pull or a pull only for the cleaning? Does it have rotating brushes or non-rotating? The rotating brushes are going to clean better than the non-rotating. Hmm. Does it have two tanks or one dual tank? And then how easy is it to remove and replace? A lot of these oh. are on display at the store, so you should test them out, see what you like. Yeah, it's nice to be able to compare them. And then tank capacity. Larger tanks, you're going to be filling it and emptying it less. But they are oh. going to be heavier. True, yeah. So if you have to carry this upstairs, you might want a smaller tank. Look at the number of amps, usually higher is going to be more powerful. And then auto mixing detergent. This is usually going to give you a rinse only option, which is handy if you plan on using hot water only for your projects. Hmm. Look at the width of the cleaner head. And then also some are going to have a water heater to maintain the water temperature if you have a large tank. Some actually divert the heat from the motor to help dry the carpet, yeah. so it's a nice option. If you have pets, a pet version is going to have more features like a hair trap, more scrubbing action with a brush or multiple brushes, and some have special emptying features. So if you're picking up urine or vomit, it's going to help prevent contaminating the other parts of the machine. Mm -hmm. Look for auto tank shutoff when the tank is full. I would compare warranties and then see what's required for repairs. If you need to take it to a service center, how close is it? So I would compare brands and the locations if you have to take it into a service center. Hmm. And then get a model that's rated the best for suction. It's going to help pull up more dirt and debris, and it's also going to dry faster. Nice. Some top-rated carpet cleaners, Bissell, Hoover, and Rug Doctor. And if you're thinking about hiring a professional for your carpets, Coit, it's C-O-I-T. They use truck-mounted steam cleaners at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. So not only does it clean the carpet, but it kills germs. Stanley Steamer, they use truck-mounted hot water extraction. USA Clean Master, they use steam cleaning. ChemDry, so it's C-H-E-M-D-R-Y. They use certified green products. And one of their systems, they use hot carbonated water mm. rather than soap and detergents. So they use less water and it's faster dry time. And then Carpet Cleaning Pro, they use steam cleaning. When you're looking at these, you should look at the dry times because they range, some are like eight hours, some are four hours, and then some are like two hours. Do you have anything else to add? If you get new carpet, check the warranty and the cleaning schedule and what's required for deep cleaning. You want to keep your receipts when you're hiring a pro for your warranty. You should be using a hot water extraction carpet cleaner about once a year for most homes. If you have kids or pets, two to four times a year. Hmm. And don't use too much soap or don't get it too wet. Use multiple passes with the vacuum only once you do your wet stroke so it dries faster. Make sure you wait till the carpet is dry before you put your furniture back. Right. Let's wrap this up. You can subscribe to our podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, 
the Spotify mobile app, the Google Play Music app, iHeartRadio, and CastBox. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a review. You can check out our home improvement videos on our YouTube channel, Fix It Home Improvement. And you can subscribe to that as well. You can download our books, Home Improvement Solutions, What Every Homeowner Should Know on Amazon. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a five-star rating and review. You can email us at fixitpodcast at gmail.com. You can follow Cindy on Twitter at fixitcohost. Thank you for listening. Talk to you next week.